Welcome to Africa in the Ordnance. Today we are going to be doing a video on how to tear down the Seneca slash Samian Dragon Claw 50 cal air rifle so that we can install the new power tune kit, uh, the 2020 power tune kit from Africa in the Ordnance into this awesome rifle. And this is the new power tune kit that we're going to be installing. It's got the new valve the new heavy duty uh, brass reach slide as well as the new heavy um, the new dead blow hammer and magnum hammer spring and the unbreakable cocking handle also we have a, a, a very large transfer port that is going to be installed alright the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the butt of the, the butt stock of the rifle I've gone ahead and pre-loosened the plug that's in the back here what you normally do is just grab that very sharp we dig into the rubber we take the plug out like that next uh, we don't have a long screwdriver over here but normally you can get one from Harbor Freight you're going to stick this in the buttstock this has a flat head on it okay we just got to find the slot for it there it is so now we're just going to remove the buttstock on the rifle and that comes off like that there is actually a nut a flathead nut that's in the back of the stock and that goes there. next thing take the foregrip off and this is just gonna Gauge. Okay. There's the uh, screw for it. Put that right back there so we don't lose it. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the uh, stock retaining shaft. that simply unscrews then now this is probably one of the hardest parts is to remove this front sight assembly um, a couple tips though with this that helps is to actually heat this section up here with a, a hair dryer for about 10 minutes and I've already done that and what that does is it just softens up the o-rings that are in here um, that grip this um, and the other way you can do it is also to use a rubber mallet uh, once you remove these guys and just to first of all just to get a move you just kind of tap it on over here on this section here um, you don't want to hit like on the actual side post itself because you mess it up um, so what you want to do is you just want to remove these rings okay just retain your rings there's two of them uh, these can also be uh, quite difficult to uh, to get off for the very first time and you just want to, what you want to do is get a pin punch or a punch and there's little holes here and you can actually tap on them uh, and they go uh, you know if you uh, lefty loosey tighty righty got your thread protector here okay. a good thing is to not take this off all the way because what you're going to want to do is you're also going to want to pull the barrel so at first you want to get the sight block loose okay so let's see if we can get it loose it's quite difficult So there you can actually see I've managed to pull it forward um, and that's where I'm going to stop now I just want to get the Allen key for the all right the next thing we want to do is we want to pull the barrel off and we want to pull the, the front side block off now that we've got that cracked okay so what we're going to do is uh, we've got to loosen um, there is a small Retaining a little grub screw that retains that locks the barrel place. We've got to go and we're going to loosen that guy uh, again. Okay. okay, then what we've got to do is we've got to pull this front side block off here, and that's why I've left this on so we can pull the barrel and everything together. Okay. So 
now we can just loosen that. Okay, you pull that off. There's your front side block. Okay. Next thing, get this barrel out. Okay. And this plastic part is just a, like a, a trunking. Okay. You just go there, for, pull back for later. So there's your barrel. I'm going to put that aside. Okay. So now what we've got left, we've got the air tubes. Okay. And we've got the receiver. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is, we're going to take the receiver apart. Okay. So the, for this, just use a, a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to remove the trigger mechanism first. It's just four little screws that hold this together. And then there's one on either side. Okay, you must be careful not to lose those. And there's one over here. It is, it is important to use the right size screwdrivers uh, and tools in this so that you don't damage the, the screws. Okay, so there, there's the little screw. So next thing that happens is this trigger group actually gets pulled out. You squeeze the trigger like that and then you just simply pull it forward like that and there that's the trigger group and we'll get into that later on how to make your you know your your trigger pull a lot smoother so we're gonna put that down for now here for the all little springs in here that like to jump up and down so we can put that there next thing we want to take off this part which is the receiver cover okay this is pretty simple pretty straightforward these two screws all right let me just get rid of the one all right so now we're going to unscrew these guys So this is your scope rail. It comes off with your, you got your two screws. Yeah. Okay. And now your receiver cover. And what's gonna happen is if you just, the best thing to do these is just angle them slightly forward like that and then they come up just like that. It's perfect. Okay. So there's your you can see how small the transfer port is on this compared to the one that's going to replace it, which is that one there. So you can compare the two of those. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to undo, um, we're going to take out the hammer um, and the hammer spring. And it's best to use a punch to knock us out. And all you want to do is just simply, right there, you want to just simply tap it up. And also put your finger at the back here to stop the, because the, the spring is under tension, and you don't want that flying around. Yeah. So we don't want to knock that out. Okay. okay. So there's a little split pin, like that. Okay, and now we can remove the old hammer spring, there, and the old hammer. Those we're not going to be reusing, so we're just chucking those aside. Okay, so that is that. So the next part of removing, now we want to take the valve out of here. So what we've got to do, we've turned this, this whole part around. So now we're going to the front of the gun. There's no need to remove this part. This part can stay there. It's just, there's no absolutely no need to remove this. And if you had a single tube version, obviously you wouldn't have this part here. 
so this wouldn't apply anyway. So all you're going to do is simply unscrew this. Okay. And it's a good idea also why you're all doing this is actually replace all these O-rings. It's a good idea to do that. So that part goes there. So now you can see we just go down the tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our long rod. Now, it is better to get a long screwdriver from Harbor Freight, but if you can't, you can get thread bar and then just make a flat end. Uh, and this one, and basically all you're going to do is you're just going to put this all the way down. And you're going to find there's also like a big slot down the bottom. And then what you want to do is, I just use a circle fan on this because it works just well, because you've got to put a lot of, quite a bit of force to crack the the valve on this for the first time so you're cracking it's the and yeah all you got to do is that okay and so now we're just going to loosen a bit because by loose by unscrewing this you're unscrewing the um the valve end cap assembly and it relaxes the pressure on the o-ring so that's why you want to do that so then all you want to do is you want to leave it there because you use that to push the valve through at the back end so next thing we've got to do is we've got to take out the, there are three retaining screws right here. There's one there, two, and three. We have to remove those so we can remove the, the, the valve out. So. Okay, there's one. Okay, three. Next thing we want to do is we want to pull this transfer port, and these can be quite hard to get out. Um, the best thing to do is to get something that you can angle and put some pressure on them. Loosen them up. Yeah, she's coming up. So we want to pull this out. Okay. So there's the old uh, transfer port. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to be using that again. Alright, so next, we're going to push on the roll at the end here, so we can push the valve out. This can sometimes be difficult if it's the first time you're doing it, but in this case... So, this is the old valve, okay? Alright. So now we've removed all the old parts out of this. Um, the next thing We've got to give it a very good clean and then once we have a very good clean we will have to once again reinstall everything and replace it all right so this is now the whole dragon claw 500 c version uh, 500 cc version that has been torn down to its individual parts so you've got your receiver your scope rail your breech slide, um, your trigger group and the screws that hold the whole rifle together, you have your air tubes, your barrel, you've got the uh, foregrip and the front sight assembly. Okay, So this is the teardown of the dra Dragon Claw and uh, next we'll be installing, um, do the installation video for the African Air Ordnance um, 2020 Magnum Valve upgrade kit so stay tuned for that in the next video thanks for watching